getting a lot of Europeans who've actually cancelled trips to Holland because Holland is known as the capital of smoking and they've actually come to Koh Samui. It's a lot better environment. I mean, it's an island. And so we're hoping that in the future, Thailand will be the tourist destination of the smoking world. What's up, folks? You're on the Thai Sun, and this week we're getting back on the interviews. I'm going to be heading in behind me there to the Outback Bar and Grill to interview the manager called Rob. And the reason for that is because... They recently opened a second business there called the Copper Pipe. And the Copper Pipe has over 20 different strains of marijuana, which they can now sell legally. You can go and buy it over the counter, go home, get stoned. So I figure let's go find out a little bit more about that. If you've enjoyed this video, please do press subscribe. And if you or someone you know in the Samui area has an interesting story you'd like to share, please do get onto me at the address on screen now. Come on, love. Yeah, my name's Rob. Rob. Um, I've been in Thailand for five years now, uh, coming from South Africa, and uh, yeah, we've come out here for a good opportunity of the weed business. Yeah. So yeah, it's very good. It's very exciting. Yeah. But this say. was this has been open for a while though. Yeah, as a steakhouse, right? Yeah, we've been open as a steakhouse for about eight years, nine years now. It was an Aussie bar, no kitchen, and they just did live music, mm -hmm. and then we added in a few extras. Yeah. Put yeah. put kitchen in. Yeah, good. Um, since you've come to Thailand, have you been living in Samiri the whole time? I've been in Phuket, I've been in Bangkok, and uh, Pattaya and Koh Samui. Oh, well, you lived in all of them places? Yeah, I've lived in all of wow. them, one year each, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, you get about, man. Which, do you have any preference? What your I, favorites pre I preferred Phuket. Yeah? Phuket's the uh, better beaches. Right, where, where yeah. are you living in Phuket? I've been in Ketu. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ketu and then down in Karon also. Good yeah, surfing down there. Nice. Yeah, Karon yeah, nice. nice. I lived in Mawai for like four years. It's really nice too, yeah. Really nice. Oh, yeah. best seafood. Nihon. Yes. Yeah, yeah, lovely seafood yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Before you came to live in Thailand, did you come here on holiday quite a bit as well? Uh, I did, yes. I started coming in 1997. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, every two, three years after that. Yeah. And then, yeah, I used to deliver yachts to Thailand as well. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, cool. did, a, did quite a bit. And um, so was it a big, like, moving here was it a thing you researched heavily and or did you just sort of jump in um i did research it i did, did research um i did have other options going to europe but uh, i do have family here as well okay. which makes life uh, very very pleasant so you had a yeah. rough idea what you wanted to do before you came yeah here. Yeah. yeah pretty much yeah and it's worked out absolutely we're very lucky yeah okay. yeah because the people who, who watch my channel will know I, I started a restaurant in phuket and it didn't really work out okay i've told the the, the nightmares of that before but when you came here, you just landed on your feet. There was no like failure period. No, not at all. We were oh, set great. up already, and then I came in just to help manage. Yeah. So my background is is retail, right, yeah. retail and franchising. So yeah, I came in. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we, we did have, we did have branches in Phuket, uh, but Patong area was not really great for what we had. Right. Yeah. yeah okay. And you have quite a few businesses that are sort of connected here on Samiri as well, right? Yes, we've got six stores here. Yeah, this is the Outback, and then we have the Bondi, Bondi Aussie Bar and Grill in Lamai and Chiweng. Yeah, there's two of them. Um, we have the Palms as well, which is great for live music, entertainment at night. And then we have the Cliff, which is our five-star Mediterranean restaurant. Which is between here and, and Chiweng, yes, in the middle. Yes, that's Lovely viewpoint. Yeah, yeah, correct. It's got the best viewpoints, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just an awesome asset here. It's yeah, really nice. good, yeah. It's really good. Now, I haven't been to the Palm, so I need to go in there and, and try it. Yeah, Palm's late night. Very good, yeah. very good, yeah. All right, so it's not night time, but I pulled my finger out, come up to Shawang, and we're gonna nip in to see the palms. Pop a pipe. So let's get to the, to the yeah, meat yeah, of the matter. So on, on, for anyone that doesn't know, on June the 1st of this year, it was June the 1st, I think, right? That's right, Thai yeah. government, sort of unexpectedly, um, although it's been in the post, but it was, it was kind of sudden, and yeah. um, Pretty much across the board legalized cannabis, apart yeah. from extracting with THC That's and right. smoking in the streets. They're Correct. pretty much the only yeah. things Correct. that I can see that we're not allowed to do. Correct for um, now, yeah. So, for, for, I'd love to know from your point, so in case you haven't noticed, in the background here we have the copper pipe, which has popped up since then. There's about 20 different strains in there, right? Yeah, they tried. You've, you've got a massive menu, which we'll show you in a yeah. minute. Um, can you explain like the thought process and the procedure you had to go because you this was open like a week, ten days after the uh, three days week. after, yes, three yeah. days after, three days after. So how, yeah. you were you were ready to go. Yeah, so we were ready. We, we, were we, you expecting this? Yes, we were talking about it for quite a few months, and um, we were, weren't sure about the legislation. But once it was approved, we had everything in place already, 
and our branding and everything. Um, our, our owner, uh, Mr. Bradley Munns, it's all his creation. So it's all his design, his creation, and, and uh, yeah, he set it up everything. Yeah. Pretty much within three days, yeah. Really quick. Yeah. So you didn't, you weren't really involved. You don't know the, the administrative side, like the, the paperwork and stuff, like how difficult it was. It to was. Set up. It was very difficult. It, it was, was. Yes. Uh, fortunately for us, we have an affiliate in Bangkok who ha is, who has medical grade uh, facilities, okay. and they've helped us. They've trained us, and uh, helped us with our licenses yeah. and pretty much all of it. These guys are um, American based, right. and. Um, yeah, have come up from Oregon or California, should I say, and pretty much duplicated what they have there into to our systems. Uh, is this who you're buying off then? Oh, uh, we buy from, buy from, whoever you from want. various, various. Um, we have certain growers, uh, which strict quality. Right. Uh, we don't just buy from anybody. These are our menus. So let me see. I might take a photo of these. Yeah instead of the video but you can see it's two-sided because it's a hell of a menu what is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fifteen eight it's twenty yeah 20 20. we have another twenty coming today twenty different types yeah different wow. types yeah yeah so, so one of the questions i wanted to ask was i was about because there doesn't seem to be any regulation or like how are the government making money like they're not ta like for example if i <laughs> wanted if i was making an amazing beer and I bring you this amazing beer, you can't sell it, like because it's no, like moonshine. No, 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 Whereas yeah. with this weed, it's like you can buy it from pretty much whoever yeah, you want. Yeah, right? you've got to be a registered grower. Right, okay. So yeah, we buy it from registered growers only. So if you want to grow, so you, there, there is a process that you have to, as a lawyer, yeah? okay. you can't just grow. Yeah. So do you have to declare who you buy it, or uh, you can pretty much be under the table? Uh, no, we pretty much declare everything. We're a legitimate business. No, uh, I'm not saying that I, I didn't yeah, mean yeah, it like yeah. that, but I mean like, yeah in terms of the law yeah do you have to say to them this is exactly who i'm buying it off and this is how much i've bought or, or is it pretty we, uh, quite loose uh, for now it's loose but it will tighten up yeah, it will tighten course, yeah. We, yeah we're going to have inspectors it's a three-month period that they've sort of said yeah. and let's see what happens yeah. afterwards so if i were to come here again in, in one year or three years or five years, i'm just going to wait for this car to go back tonight tonight <laughs> well here's our display mm. I was here when they were setting this up and it's not real nice. Yeah, they're really good, eh? So, this is called Oreo cookies. Hey, we store them in our one grams and three and a half gram bags. All good to go, yeah. Yeah, all right, ready to go. Smell that straight all good, yeah. Lovely yeah, smell, very yeah. good, yeah. These are lovely. And they all have a slightly different effect. And so if I were to come back here in one year, three years, five years, uh, where do you think this has gone it's for you, but also for the country of Thailand? How do you think they've... <laughs> well, what we've seen in the meantime, in the, uh, in the interim, is we're getting a lot of Europeans who've actually cancelled trips to Holland, because Holland is known as the capital of smoking. And they've actually come to Koh Samui. It's a lot better environment. I mean, it's an island. And so we're hoping that in the future, Thailand will be the tourist destination of the smoking world. Yeah. Do you see them allowing, like, for example, right now, if I buy some off you, I can't smoke it here, can I? I have to go home to have a smoke. Do you think they're going to loosen up in that regard? or? We're not quite sure. Um, it leaves room for um, manipulation, yeah. should I say. But, yeah, I, I, I really hope so. I mean, it, it would make a huge difference. People would come here especially for that. Yeah, for sure. The prices vary wildly, eh? Correct, yes. So, <laughs> let, let's, let's have a look at the... Um, you pre-rolled, are you putting tobacco in that as well? No tobacco at all, nothing. Just pure? Yeah, 100%, Lovely. yeah. So your cheapest option, let me lift this up. Your cheapest option is this one here, the White Widow, which is it's, it's Thai weed. That's correct, yeah. Thai brick. And you can get 25 grams of that for a thousand baht, which is about 25 pounds. It's only about a pound a gram. That's yeah. Like cheapest chips. That's right, yeah. And your most expensive one, is it this, this one at the top? 850 a gram? Yeah. We have the Keef, which is a thousand and... Uh, 20. One last question. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, it only the, the rules only changed on June the first, right? You don't have to answer this one if you don't want. And um, how can it be that obviously, if you've ever grown weed or you know anyone, it takes just the finishing period is at least six weeks. You've got to grow the plant before that. Correct. How is it that three days afterwards we already have 20? Like they made they made growing plants legal a few months prior to that. Right. So everybody could grow five. 
on an industrial scale, I'm not sure what happened there, but yeah. commercially, people were allowed to grow before. Yeah. These are pre-rolls. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with no tobacco. No, absolutely zero, and it's a premium grade. We use a Skittles, or we use a sour diesel, or a guava, okay. which are really expensive ones, and they're really good. So where I am right now is the very famous soy green mango, which has all the best nightclubs in Shawang. And just here at the corner of it, you have the palms and the copper pipe. Yeah, so that one's just like a nice little hole in the wall, just a, a weed dispensary, basically. And then the other one is inside, as you saw, the restaurant that's been there for eight years. But a hell of a selection. So, I mean, if this puts, puts Amsterdam to shame in many ways. Like, most Absolutely, of the cafes yeah. in Amsterdam wouldn't have this. Yeah, they have like 10, maybe, yeah. that's it, yeah. But I am interested to know, how do you guys feel? What do you think about this change in law? Do you think it's a good thing, a bad thing? Would it make you want to come to Thailand? Would it put you off coming to Thailand? Let us know, please, in the comments section below. Interested to know, don't shoot the messenger, of course. I didn't change the law. Um, yeah.